Movie lovers trooped out in their numbers to witness the sequel, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever in Lagos, which took many of them on a thrilling journey back to Wakanda, following the death of Chadwick Boseman. The 161-minute movie has been making the rounds, including a promotional tour with a historic premiere in Lagos State which marked the first time a Marvel movie held the premiere locally. Some of the movie lovers told Access24 how happy they were to witness the release of a movie which showcases the cultural heritage of Africa. They also revealed what they expected from the sequel as they showed confidence in the work of art. When you expect something you are expecting, you know what I mean? It's Marvel. They always marvel you. Like, the boss. I mean, I'm expecting more action, more thrilling scenes, I mean, more vibe. I've seen the trailer, so I feel like there's a lot of other things. Obviously, we all want to see how um, Chadwick Boseman's passing, King T'Challa's passing has been dealt with in the movie, but we also want to see the strong female characters, you know, how they're going to move on, how they're going to heal from the passing of this very prominent figure in the movie, and also how they're going to come into their own, how they're going to display their personal power, and how they're going to make an impact in this movie. I can't wait. I can't wait. I don't expect to see who our new Black Panther is and see how she, you know, carries that mantle. So that's pretty much what I'm excited about. You know, after the first, you know, after, after Chavi Bozeman, who played T'Challa, passed away, I personally haven't been able to watch Black Panther since it's just too emotional for me. And this is my first time actually watching something that pertains to that story and storyline for the first time since that movie. So I'm truly excited. I know it's going to be an, an emotional whirlwind, but I'm, overall I'm excited to watch it. These fun seekers further called on Nollywood directors and movie makers to pay attention to every detail of the movie and look at the positive side of the sequel in order to improve filmmaking in Nigeria. We need to believe in our culture, to promote the culture. You get, we all, we, we all love the Superman, we love the Spider-Man. Why can't we make, you know, the children love uh, love Jungle, love Odu? It's, it depends on the way the uh, movie industry depicts these characters and I'm sure we can get there, I'm sure we can do it. Prison filmmakers in Nigeria are doing a great job. Shout out to Nollywood. I love New Nollywood and the range of you know films, TV shows and adaptations that we've been seeing recently coming out of Nollywood. I think that what can be adapted is the way that our African culture is shown in such a brilliant and aspirational light. When I watch Black Panthers, I'm African, I'm Nigerian, but I, I'm still aspiring. You know, I, I love the way that um, our culture is celebrated. I would say that there's still like a lot to learn. I mean, in terms of scripting, camera-wise, angles, editing. I mean, yeah, it is Marvel, obviously. So it's people that I actually look up to personally. So yeah, there's a lot to learn. Wakanda Forever opens in Nigerian cinemas on the 11th of November in step with its European debut at Sign World Leicester Square in London. The movie was streamed for movie lovers on November 10th at the Filmhouse Cinemas, IMAX Lekki in Lagos State. They called him Kukul Khan, the Feather Serpent God. Earlier, founders of Film One Entertainment, Moses Babatokwe and Kene Okwos, described the debut of Black Panther Wakanda Forever in West Africa as a proud achievement and a milestone for the firm. Wakanda Forever runs for 2 hours and 41 minutes, making it the second longest MCU film behind only 2019's Avengers Endgame. The new movie comes two years after Chadwick Boseman's death and incorporates the franchise's star's loss into the sequel.